Obviously, we're big combat sports fans over here at Winning Cures Everything. Chris and I watch the UFC stuff. Whenever there is a good boxing match, you know, we will watch that. I'll probably be watching the Canelo fight uh, against Billy Joe Shaver this weekend. There's, you know, there's some stuff going on right now. And we're not too much into the novelty game. You know, we the Jake Paul Ben Askren thing was whatever, but it it certainly stirred up a lot of hype, a lot of people talking about it. But it it was not a real professional fight. It it's just a spectacle, and boxing has always kind of been part spectacle. Well, the press conference for the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight that's coming up in June. What one of the press conferences was today, and Jake Paul was there, and Jake Paul is the one that. Everybody thinks is like the real boxer and what he's the one that knocked out Ben Askren. So of course he's been talking a lot. And he was at the last UFC fight and he uh he has stirred up a lot of controversy and a lot of talk in in the combat sports world. So of course he and Floyd Mayweather start going at each other. And and Jake Paul is significantly taller than than Floyd Mayweather, but Jake and him are going back and forth face to face, you know, whatever. And Jake grabs his hat, and starts to run off with it. Now, it, it was entertaining to watch for a, a quick 20-second clip or whatever it was online. If it had been real, the money team would have absolutely beaten his ass. That, that bunch that Floyd Mayweather has around him is a scary bunch of dudes. So if I had thought that this was actually a legit thing, that's what would have happened. But instead, they just chase him down, they get the hat back, it's whatever. And and then, of course, he's tweeting afterwards, gotcha hat. And it's comical. It stirs up talk. Obviously, I'm talking about it right now because everybody is talking about it. It's something that people are interested in for whatever reason. The Paul brothers, who are just YouTube influencers, basically, I think is what they're referred to as, I, I don't understand the hype behind it. You know, the fact that they can actually win a little bit, like, that's that's cool, but they haven't really boxed real boxers yet. They're kind of hand-picking opponents at this point. Logan Paul doing an exhibition against Floyd Mayweather. At, look, when you can draw up that kind of coin for a fight, for a pay-per-view, I mean, uh, cheers to you. Cheers to you. But, yeah, that, that whole thing was a debacle and... All of these will be until we get that fight. Uh, speaking on that, on the combat sports stuff, stuff that we have not mentioned before, Teofimo Lopez against George uh, Cambosos has been postponed to June 19th, which is really strange to do this a month before the fight, but they, they pushed it back two weeks for whatever reason. I have not seen a real reason for it. Uh, but on top of that, uh, the Nate Diaz and Leon Edwards fight that was supposed to be on the next UFC card on May 15th, that's next Saturday, uh, that has been postponed as well. Now, obviously, the card is still happening, but Nate Diaz and Leon Edwards is going to be on June 12th now, uh, and I believe that's the Izzy Adesanya fight. So, you know, a, a little strange. I'm sure the people that are in Houston that sold that event out, I'm going to guess there's some of those that are not real happy with the fact that the Nate Diaz fight is not happening. It, it's his big return. A lot of people were going out specifically for that fight. Uh, I was going to buy it specifically for that fight. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see Charles Oliveira against Michael Chandler, and I, I might still buy it, but we shall see. We shall see. So, um, moving on from there, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.